Let's get started on installing the Radeon WinSim to SimHub. There is a paper manual included in the box, but if you prefer following me step by step, you can use this video as a tool to help you out. The first thing you will need is to download SimHub. This software is completely free, you can buy a license if you want to support the developers, which I did, but you can also do this at a later stage. After the installation is done, just restart your computer, connect your Win Simulator to your PC and launch SimHub. You will now see the landing page of SimHub. In the left column click on Arduino. On the right click on My Hardware. In my case you can already see a few Arduino boards that are connected, one of which is the WinSim. But I will pretend these boards are not there and that I started from scratch. Choose Multiple Arduino. Click on Open Arduino Setup Tool. In a new window that has just opened on the right, choose Arduino Uno. On the left, in device name, indicate the name of your new wind simulator. For example, Radian Wind Simulator. Then in the left column, search for Shake It Adafruit Motor Shield V2. Click on the plus to add the number 1. Below this value you need to enter the frequency. This depends on your power supply, your processor, your RAM, the USB port used, if you want the system to be silent or not, the distance of the nozzle used and so on. These are all parameters that can vary for each individual setup. So start with a frequency of 1600 and test this in-game after you did the full install. If you notice cuts, for example above a certain speed, it means that you have to decrease your frequency. Just go back to the previous step, open Arduino setup tool and choose a reload my last settings. Generally, this frequency is between 800 and 1600. I tried setting mine at 1600 at first, but had to decrease it to 1200 for it to work properly with my system. Should there be any issue with your frequency, just let me know in the remarks and I'll get back to you ASAP. At the top right, select the COM port of your Arduino. In my case, I have multiple Arduinos already connected, so I can already see three COM ports. In your case, this should only be one. Make sure you unplug all the other Arduino ports, which you have already installed, to make sure you're not overriding any of those. Check the I understand, etc, etc field and press upload to Arduino. Wait a few seconds, depending on how fast your system is. And when the upload is complete, unplug the WinSim from your PC and plug it back in. Close the sketch setup window. Now you should see that your wind simulator is successfully connected. So now we're about halfway, still a few settings which we need to do before we can start enjoying the WinSim. On the left click on settings and then plugins. Check that you have the shake it motors activated. Then the left column click on the shake it motors. Find speed, activate it and put it at 100%. In effect low force kilometers an hour, indicate 20. You can put the number to whatever you want. This number indicates from which speed in game the fans will start. In effect high force max speed in percentage, put in value 100%. Now at the top click on motors output. Go down on speed and enable channel 1 and channel 2. Then go back to effects profile and click on test several times to test the correct configuration of your wind simulator. You should hear the fan spin and feel the wind coming out of it. The configuration of your wind simulator is now complete. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact the guys at Radian or leave a comment. Their customer support is amazing, they even help via TeamViewer if you can't get the device set up correctly.